Historic St. Louis landmark destroyed by flames. Firefight. Fire, Oops, sorry. Firefighters F battled a four alarm fire at the St. Laborious Parish Complex in North St. Louis into the early morning hours. Yeah, this one a big talker, especially on social media. The former church sits at Hogan Street, a few blocks away from the new NGA campus. News 4's Caroline Hecker was on scene for hours this morning with firefighters. More than 100 years of history simply reduced to rubble. More than six hours after the fire broke out here, water still streams down the front steps of the church as the fire department works to put out hot spots. Now the skaters that called this place home have to figure out what's next. Damage done in the darkness revealed at sunrise Thursday morning. The former St. Laborious Church was ravaged by a fire that broke out around 11 Wednesday night. Firefighters say the fire started in the rectory, connected to the church by a walkway. Flames quickly spread, bringing more than 100 firefighters to the scene of the four alarm fire. All these shingle roofs are very dry. It's been hot all day. All of the lawns are dry, the trees are dry, it, everything was catching fire from the embers. Built in 1889 to accommodate an expanding German population in North City, the church closed its doors in 1992, 17 years after being designated a city landmark. A group of skateboarders purchased the church in 2012 and began fixing it up before building an indoor skate park. Just a lot of culture, a lot of urban culture. It was something different. We've thrown a lot of big events in this space and a lot of people were constantly booking the space for music videos or whatever they may be looking to do. But now it's looking like this may be the end. In addition to hosting national skating contests and events, Skate Laborious also served as a place for people to spend their time among friends. Joss Hay is part of the ownership group that owns the church. He says all the blood, sweat, and tears poured into it over the years, gone in an instant. It's hours. It's just thousands of hours by hundreds of people um, to get to this point for it all to be undone by one match, I guess. so. Firefighters say embers from the church fire carried downwind nearly two blocks catching this vacant building on fire. City Hope St. Louis, a shelter for the homeless situated next door to the church, surviving the nearby blaze. The history of this home is uh, means nothing but help. The cause of the fire remains undetermined and under investigation, and the cleanup process will be extensive. The owners of the church tell me they plan to demolish the steeple to keep the surrounding community safe. In North St. Louis, Caroline Hecker, News 4.